Hey guys, today I'm going to show you around in an Olive Young drugstore that you can find plenty of in Korea. On these shelves you can see famous beloved sunscreens, although this first one from Botanic Hill is definitely a no for me, feels too heavy and oily for my liking. This next product is one of the favorite items, it's the top 4 cushion on Glowpick. Easy application, compact, high brood sun protection, good moisturizing skill and an extra tune-up effect. This sun gel is from the same brand and currently this tends to be the best sunblock in Korea, must-have product. Here you can see products from the brand Kate Tokyo. Many people consider Japanese products are better than Koreans, but I think it really depends on. There are many really good Japanese products and brands such as Shiseido, SK2, Kiss Me and yeah, this Kate Tokyo also. But usually I do prefer Korean brands as they feel more natural and more effective on my skin. From Kate Tokyo I enjoy all the base makeups and their eyeshadows as well. If I should choose among these four products, I would pick the Powdery Skin Maker. There are some Espoir products over here. Their primer did not seem amazing to me, but their Pro Taylor foundations are nice. Not the best foundations ever and to be honest, you can buy better quality for a cheaper price from other brands. But I like the packaging and how glowy they are. I prefer the Pro Taylor foundation B Glow version. The next brand is the Too Cool For School, their art class by Rodan products. They are popular in Korea and I enjoy how you can collect the full set of shading, setting powder, highlighter and blusher with almost the same packaging. It would definitely look nice as a makeup collection. They are all compact with a mirror inside, they do not contain brush that is good in my view since they always make a mess and I would never use them anyways. From these products I would recommend the shading and the finisher setting pack. Mm -hmm. 
Shiseido Sports Cover Foundation is maybe the best concealer that you can purchase for an absolutely affordable price. It's a huge amount of 20 grams, compact and covers everything. The oil does not really break through, although if you have seriously oily skin, I recommend some sebum controlling or setting powder on the top and good to go. Here you can see the brand Medicube. All their foundations and cushions have only two colors, too dark for me, never tried. Too expensive and people usually don't like it. We arrive to the brand Clio. They have really good products, usually more colors, more options and for a good price as well. The first concealer cushion is nice, long lasting with a good coverage. The second is not a favorite of mine, I would not choose this ampule cover cushion. The next Foundwear cushion is ok, I think people usually purchase this one from Clio brand. This last cushion with the rosy case is kind of a new product, never really tried but it has good reviews. Now here are some liquid concealers with more colors and they are also good. Luna brand, never interested, never tried and I don't think I would ever purchase it. Welly Welly brand, they have these three makeup bases primers that seem nice. At first I especially felt in love with the shine of this aura pearl base but I do not recommend it at all. The glitter particles stick into your pores and they cause irritation and breakouts. Beautiful fluid that creates a horrible skin. The other two primers with moisturizing ability. The only difference is the coloration. One of them is pink, peach, the other one is green. I was not fond of these ones either. Here we can see some base makeup of Peripera, which is, by the way, my favorite cheap Korean brand. Their products are absolutely budget friendly, the packaging is adorable and the finish of the products are usually really good. This quality for this price, who wouldn't love this brand? These three products here are new and I blindly wanted to purchase all of them, luckily I didn't. Although the tone up cream is nice, I did not like the pore smoothing primer nor the BB cream. They have a new ink matte blur cushion. Once I would love to make a comparison video about the Hera black cushion and this new Peripera cushion. They feel really similar and I cannot wait to purchase and try this product. Nowadays this blurry, well wet and matte finish is the trend in Korea and to be honest I love the dewy finish but for my oily skin matte finish is a better choice. It felt lightweight and settled within seconds. Lily by Red products are nowadays a big hit in Korea, adorable pink packaging, affordable price and good product, especially their lip tints. This cotton blur cushion is similar with the Peripera cushion, although for the first sight I like the Peripera more. The next brand is Dr. Chart. These are higher quality products with a higher price. I tried their base makeups, although since the colors are way too dark for me, I had to mix them with a tone-up foundation. The foundation and the cushion you can see here are okay, not waste of money, although they were not favorite items for me. These BB creams on the other hand are amazing. I usually don't use BB creams because of the lack of color variations. I have to say they were much better than I expected. CMP Laboratory has more beloved products especially their ampules. 
they mostly put the attention on the propolis components. After their ampules became famous, they launched two ampule cushions, one white B ampule in cushion and one propolis ampule in cushion. Somehow I always wanted to try these cushions, they must have amazing ingredients, but I never had the luck. The next one from the brand is the Dr. Derma BBB. I like the simple packaging and the long tube, in this way it's more compact, light and provides an easy application. I did not experience overflow like with pumping type bottles. I enjoyed the texture too, although it has only two colors. Thank you for watching, soon you can see the part 2 with more brands and products. Have a nice day, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time, bye bye!